are taking over. In one year, you are going to see many seasons. But it is called one season. The season of the church to take over. You are going to see the church leading South Africa into the glorious land. My apostle, come and join me. Say. Are you with me, church? Are you with me? These are the days of glory. We are going to see the glory like never before. You see, when a champion has won from the ring, if the champion has won from the ring, when he has been beaten up and won, after winning, you see the scars. You see the scars under the eye. Go to the winner. They are being handled together. I'm not sure whether you hear me. Let me tell you if on the other side is an enemy and on the other side is you and the grace is and the winner is and the winner is you're gonna call your name right you're not a failure you're not a loser what you've been standing what you've been praying for what you've been praying for and the winner is an enemy on the other side and on the other side is you and the grace is Jesus in the middle and the winner is and the winner is and the winner is and the winner is If you have something, if you have something, if you have something, raise that as a belt that you have won. Either it's your back or your Bible. Today, you are a winner because you have conquered. You have conquered the rain. You have conquered the storms. You have conquered pain. You have conquered sorrow. You are the winner. You you are the conqueror. You are above every conqueror. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter the scars. It doesn't matter the blue eyes. It doesn't matter the pain. But you've got something that you've been praying. You've got something that you've been fasting for. You've got something that you've been interceding for. And the winner is... You've got some scars. You've got some bruises. You've got some pains. You've got some blue eyes. But the winner is... You, we as the church of Jesus Christ, we are crossing over. We have loaded on another era. We are on another season. A season that I never imagined. I'm reminded of, of my weather. Oh, 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 my weather. So my weather is American boxer. He fought for, I don't know how many millions. millions. So when he fought, he won. He became a multi-billionaire. A multi-millionaire with one fight. A multi-millionaire He fights only two times or one times a year. But when he fights, he fights for hundreds of millions. There is a money that he makes in the ring. And there is a money that he makes through advertising. 
Because he's going to fight. Many broadcasters. They buy. At a time. They want to advertise. During his time. Why? Because. He has a name. It's a name that he's been training for. Fighting for. Behind the scene. Running. Training. Pushing. But one day when he enters the ring. Everybody's watching. The whole the whole world. They are waiting. Let me tell you something. Uh, um, let me remind you of a little boy whose name was David who was exercising in his father's ship waiting for a major league. Who planned that battle? It was Jehovah himself. So that when he conquers, he will be introduced to many nations. Today, you are going to be called a warrior. A champion. The one who has conquered. Remember that the battle is not yours. How can you become a champion when the battle is not yours? I will tell you. It's because of the one who fought on the cross and won. So we are champion because of what Christ did on the cross. Oh, come on, good people. Am I talking to Mount Zion? Am I talking to Mount Zion? Can you clap some hands because you are the champion? Come, my apostle. Come, my apostle. I, do you understand? Do you feel what I'm saying? You are the champion. You are the conqueror. You are not a defeated fool. You are more than conqueror. You made it this year. You made it. You have made it. Somebody not because not because they are not. But you made it. Already so You are already. There are things that you can. Some are carrying positions. Some are carrying positions. Why don't you give God a big hand of praise? Please take your hand. My apostle and my dog. He says David was engaged in the battle. I have to announce it to you today that David's battle was to introduce him into a championship. Number two, it was to exempt him from paying tax and pay him back. No beggar, no payment. Ma inge kimbi aguku kokelo. No beggar, no table. Oma kunge kimbi aguku tafu. No beggar, no promotion. Oma kunge kimbi aguku news. No beggar, no honor. Oma kunge kukuulwa aguku futi paga news. No beggar, no respect. Oma kunge kimbi aguku kshonishwa. No beggar. No announcement. I stand together with Doc. To say to you. The battles you've been faced up with. Are to introduce you into the championship. The battles you've been fighting with God alone. Are to introduce you to victors. Can I I declare to you as the apostle has declared you are more than the conqueror you are more than the victors stand your ground and know I am more than 
Soon after David had faced Goliath, there was one question asked, whose son is this? All along, nobody minded David. But after this battle, they all wanted to be his friend. They wanted some selfies with David. They wanted autographs from David. But before the battle, they were chasing him away. Oh, can I make this announcement? Before before you went through hell nobody wanted you but after this day those who ignored you will want you again those who rejected you will want you again those who abandoned you they want you again why I am more than the conqueror you are more than as I call upon you from that day after the battle he became the son-in-law to the king he had a relationship with the king the storms you've been faced up with I introducing another side of your relationship with the king stop grumbling and mumbling stop complaining just rise to the occasion greater I see that is in you than the one that is in the world those who know their call will do much and great exploit Jehovah is on your side if Jehovah is on our side nobody you see the season that we have entered is going to produce warriors people who are fierce people who are the, the warriors are made out of scars I'm paying them I'm a cow and you are singles the warriors are being made up show me your scars I will tell you how strong you are show me your wounds I can stand with you I'm afraid of a person because I am not common. before. We are in the ring. The world will Praise the Lord. You see, when you go through, you're going to be on a menu that is going to be desired by anybody. You're going to be on a menu that is going to be desired by everybody. Because you, you've gone through, you face things. Warriors are made out of battles. Warriors are made out of wars. You see, when you see my skulls, they are made of battle that are faced. Yes, I've been through. Yes, I've been through the fire. Yes, the scars of a fire are not like the scars of a, a spear. You 
see with the different scars that somebody has when you see a boxer when he, when he won the championship his scars are always on his face and the, 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 the Bible then says the more they were oppressed oh. the more they were multiplied the more they were in hardships it's the more they grew ladies and gentlemen we are made stronger in the battles we are made stronger in troubles Jehovah is with us God. you see when you are going through don't cry because you are made through when things are coming your way they are announcing you to the world they are announcing you to people that you never knew they are announcing you they are giving you a free advertisement you are being introduced to people you will never meet in your life why it's your time it's your season it's your moment when it is your time you better move forward you must forget what is behind you you must forget your failures behind you must press forth we are perplexed every side we are pushed every side we are discouraged every side but we are not afraid who are those who are pushed every side who are those who are perplexed every side am I talking to right people am I talking to right audience have you been through have you been through are you the one for this message let me tell you while you are going through don't build your tent where you are going through but be prepared to go through to the two never build yourself permanent when you are going through the situation is temporary don't build yourself in it the situation is passive don't die in it we are from Egypt to Canada. Wilderness will not kill us. We are passing through the wilderness. We are going through. Though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Fear no evil. He is already with you. Fear no evil. Jehovah is with you. Champions are made in the battle. I want to say this to you. Please don't change your message. You said you are going to be a multi-millionaire. Don't stop it. You said you are going to own a company. Don't stop it. You said you're going to be big. Don't stop it. You said you're going to leave M. Please don't change your message. Proclaim what you are going to be. Don't proclaim where you are going through. I will call them Kulumana. There's someone that you said is going to have a company. A big company that you will make. Do not change your message. For them to be advancing. Do not change your message. Because after your own continue to declare. Because you will be declared. Very soon, very soon, there is a door. And hence, the Bible says, the power of life and death is in your tongue. And it continues to say, you create through your mouth. In other words, you say what you want to see. You don't say what you see, but you say what you want to see. Can I declare as Dr. Seth? 
Never change your message. That is why Nehemiah says, Ten times they came to me, and ten times I answer, and I told them, I'm not going down. I am still busy. Never change your confession. Never change your message. Never change because of your situation. Situations are not permanent. But you are permanent. Situations are passive. But you are not passive. Don't change your confession. Please continue saying I am the head. Continue saying I'm a past. I'm not beneath. Continue saying I'm the lender. I'm not a borrower. Even though you are borrowing at the moment. Because life and death is in your tongue. Be clear what you want to become. Say like David. You Goliath. I'm going to kill you. You Goliath. I'm going to cut your head. You Goliath. I'm going to parade with your head. In the streets of Jerusalem. In the streets of Jerusalem. You're going to be my trophy. This is my time. This is my season. This is not a season of shame. This is a season of glory. The reason why God has allowed you to pass through things it's because he believes in you. When God believes in a person he doesn't begin with your breakthrough but he allows you to be broken first so that after your brokenness you will receive your testimony and out of your scars you will have many witnesses can I just tell you one more time the reason why you are going through stuff is because God has believed in you those who go through nothing it's because God doesn't believe in them. They only believe in God. There is a difference between being believed by God and believing in God. When you believe in God, you want Him to do things for you. But when He believes in you, He wants you to do things for Him. And when you believe in Him, you want your breakthrough but when he believes in you you want it to be broken because he knows he can pick every broken piece and put you back together again he can spin the wheel and spin you on the wheel he can spin your life again in case you have fallen by the wayside of life and all that you have been working for for has been imaginalized. Can I just declare to you, let's go down to the porter's house and in the porter's house you will see a porter spinning the wheel with the clay on it. The reason why you are going through it is because he believes in you. Lastly, when God believes in you, he takes from you. When God has faith in you, he takes what you have and leaves you with himself. So you can't depend on what you can do, but you depend on the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above. And I just declare to somebody going through stuff, the stuff you are going through is the indication that you are trusted by God. The pain you've been going through is the 
vindicating that you are not alone the tears you've ever cried is the indication that Jehovah believes in you the things you've seen with your eyes the pain you've been going through is the indication that he still believes in you even though you don't believe in yourself anymore I still declare that he believes in me even though I can't find myself but I'm glad he finds me can I declare one more time you are trusted by God if he trusts you he lets you go through situations but if you trust him he, he protects you if you trust you he takes out things and he will hear you saying I am shaila God I am so mad when I am struck down by an evil so I have nothing to eat at night but I still believe his God my children die and in God you am seven but there is nobody like Jehovah I am broken broken but Jesus is worthy but there's nobody you see when you read the book of Hebrews you find about the people who walk with God people who believed in God and you see a list of them some of them never received what they believed for. I'm telling you today we are here to encourage you be a believer because God believes in you there are things that are going to happen in this era that we have entered I'm telling you, you'll be counted with those because you've gone through when you've gone through you will become another better somebody you will be introduced to another people the people are going to see the glory of God in you because you have believed in God and God believes in you the things that are going to happen through you God will become your God he, he was a God of Abraham. He was a God of Isaac. He was a God of Jacob. In this 21st century, he's going to be your God. God of He's going to be your God. You've gone through. Wait, dog, wait. In the list of the heroes of faith, I saw Samson, but no eyes, no hairs, but it's in the list. I'm not sure who I'm talking to. You feel you are stripped naked, but in the list of the heroes of faith, I want to see your name there with no eyes, no money, nothing around you, but your name. There is a name of the Christ. 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 There is a name of the the one who is called the Lord, who came from Moab, who is not a Lord, who called the but name of the Lord, by the grace of Jehovah and Jehovah. the mercies of Jehovah, she, she was pulled in down. and she found a name in the heroes of faith. I can't cause a spear. It's like the one who is called Rahab, or the Daisum Ziba, who was a prostitute. And Nobody like her. But by the grace, you're speaking slowly. She found herself in the list of the heroes. I don't know who hears me. You are introducing yourself. Just trusting you are putting yourself in the list of the heroes.
You see, never look down upon yourself. Never judge yourself according to your family. Maybe there is nobody who finished matric in your family. There is nobody who made it. Nobody who has a name in your family but you. Gideon, you come from a family that is so small in the nation. But God is going to do wonders. He's going to liberate Israel. He's going to liberate your family. He's going to set your family free. Normally, Jehovah does not care where you come from. He normally dislikes, in fact, risk less regard where you come from. Because he knows where you are going to. Can I just let you know? You may be coming from the small family, upside down family, multifunctional family, but the blood the blood of Jesus has saved you you are no longer a slave of being a mediocre you are now a child of God behold the former things are already passed and behold the new is coming it doesn't matter there was another guy who was called Matthew Poshet. He thought life ended for him. He thought he will never be in the history. His family was very famous. His family was very good. But he was paralyzed. He went to a place where people are paralyzed. He was an outcast. He never knew that one day mercy will remember him. Mercy will remember him. One day David said, Is anyone left? Is anyone left? In the house of Saul. Because of Jonathan. Mercy, 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 mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. Favor, 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 favor. Favor, 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 favor. I believe favor is calling. It doesn't matter. You don't believe in yourself but favor is calling favor is calling is anyone left I'm not speaking of those those who have taken by coronavirus I'm not speaking about those who are dead already but I'm speaking about those who are alive who have lost self, who have lost hope in themselves is anyone I believe mercy is calling this morning is anyone mercy is calling is anyone is anyone Anyone. Is anyone? I hear mercy calling. I hear mercy questioning. Is there anyone still remaining in your family that may show favor? Is there anyone? Let me show you something from the text that dog is talking about. Mephibosheth is in Lodiba hopeless in a smelling stingy, stingy space he felt very lugubrious that there is anybody who can still remember him but, 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 but mercy I know nobody you think nobody remembers your name you feel you are in an empty space in pain, in sorrow but can I just let you know you are still remembered in the mercy of God mercy remembers you mercy remembers you what I want to show you is this it is recorded then that, that there was a famine in Israel and David went and inquired from the Lord and God said the famine in Israel is a a result that Saul mistreated a certain nation amongst you. So now the famine is my judgment. And David asked God, what do I do? And God said to David, hand over all 
all the members of the family of Saul. Hand them over to the enemies to be destroyed and to be killed. And they were all given. But they left Mephibosheth aside. Do you know why Mephibosheth is not handed over? It's because of the covenant that David and Jonathan heard. The reason why you are still alive is because of the covenant that Jesus made on the cross of Calvary. The reason why you are not consumed is a covenant the blood cast out and the new covenant was made the reason why I'm still breathing is because there is a new covenant can I tell you and declare to you the family of Saul was handed over everybody died and Mephibosheth is the part of the family but more of the part of the covenant he left the family line and stood on the covenant can I just declare over you we are in a season of bypassing our family laws our family cases our family rules we stand on the new covenant and the new covenant says if a man is in Christ he is a new being the devil is already later I'm already born again and the blood of Jesus is speaking a better word over my life I'm already saved let the blood of the Savior save and redeem now Mephibosheth was left because of the covenant and David because of the covenant had to ask a question the question says is there anyone remaining and what can kill all the family it's because I David handed them over to the enemies according to what God said but I, I deep down in my heart I, I believe and I feel that though the enemy killed everybody they might have spurred somebody your corona has been killing everybody but deep down in my soul I believe God spared some people though pain and poverty was taking away everything but I still believe that deep down in God's heart there is somebody left by the grace and the mercy of God when you wake up in the morning say mercy thank you when you wake up in the morning say grace thank you many have passed away but I'm still here many have died a very painful death but I'm still here it's not by magic neither by power but mercy 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 rewrote my name Mercy, mercy, mercy Rewrote my life Mercy, mercy, mercy This is a season of mercy You see when mercy comes It comes unexpected It comes when people want to kill you It kills when people want to destroy you I remember a woman That was found in adultery they took her and dragged her and they didn't know they were dragging her into the mess they were carrying stone on the other side they were dragging her by the head and they were dragging her dragging her to the mercy seat and they throw her into the mercy seat there is somebody who is going to find mercy when you get a chance to be before mercy just go down just like this woman they threw her in the feet of mercy at the feet of mercy she was 
cry when you find a chance to realize that you almost died but you still standing by grace when you find an opportunity will you please go down on your belly will you go down on your knees and say mercy I don't know how you came through for me but nevertheless I find myself alive when others are falling apart I saw others dying but I saw myself standing Mercy. the mistake of the mob was to carry stones and bring her to mercy they didn't know that mercy is capable to rewrite hey. you see you can't take a person into the mercy city oh. destroy that person where you have found her yes, because when you take her to the, to the mercy, mercy one is a season of mercy to redeem to raise to elevate to uplift to obey dog dog if you bring a person to a who's mercy, guilty when you are the one who's gonna be guilty but she will be because, free. because men men say, I want those who are guilty so that those who are innocent will be guilty. the law of mercy comes to people who don't, who don't deserve she qualified for what she doesn't qualify for Goba Uatola perfect. Messi said, I don't want the perfect one. I want the one who's, who's being mocked. The one who's being mocked. That I may raise him or her. He takes innocency. So that he will blind and shame those who are uplifted. This is the law of grace. The mercy comes to the shack. He graduates. He take a just a minute to graduate. The mercy comes to the shed. And take a just a minute to prophet. And the mercy comes to the shed. 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 By the table. In fact, Doc, the description that Ziba gives to King, so King David, he says there is one remaining part, he is a cripple. The question was, is there anyone? The answer must be yes or no. But Ziba goes further than beyond board. He says no, there is one part, it does not qualify because it's crippled. He is disadvantaging and crippling, denting and diminishing, destroying uh, the the Mephibosheth. Not knowing that such a description qualifies for grace. The description made David to say, since you can describe him worse like this, go. 
and bring him. I'm not going to send anybody else. I will send you with your description. Go bring him here. I want him as he is. I don't want him healed. I don't want him with the breakthrough. I want him stripped as you explain. I want him naked as you say. I want him spaghetti naked as you describe. And, and Mephibosheth didn't know that today is a different day altogether. Just as you have come to Mount Zion, Mount Zion John is a normal daily routine. It's a Sunday like all other Sundays. He did it okay in your sagacity to know that the grace of God, the mercy will be out Expostulated, translucently given to man. God if you hear that. the voice of mercy, if you hear the voice of mercy, don't delay yourself. Don't delay yourself. If you can, my brother, would you please play? Those people who mercy. are outcast from the church are the one that mercy is looking after. Those people whom we have written off, they don't qualify it according to our standard. Those are the one that mercy is looking for. Because mercy wants to be shown. When there is more sin, mercy increases more. It comes in abundance. Mercy is looking for somebody. Mercy is looking for somebody. He wants to cover you. He wants to recover you. He wants to redeem you. He wants to raise you. He wants to elevate you. He wants to pick you up. He wants to rewrite you. He wants to raise you. He wants to bless you. According to the standards of man, you don't qualify. According to standards of believers, you don't qualify. But God mercy is here for you. He wants to change you. He wants to redeem you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to bless you. He wants to elevate you. Rejected by men. Denied by people. They describe you in many terms. They have given you many names. You are a downcast and the outcast. A vagabond and a wanderer. You are marked by negative words. You are discast and say ill spoken. But, 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 but mercy, please, worshippers, will you please sing for me? Say mercy. If you say today, don't wait for the call. If you feel like good day, I'm seeing other people on the floor. I wish I was I was on the audience. Hey, because the way I feel mercy, I think I've been crippled in my life. I need the mercies of God. I've been crippled by many events of life. But I've come to the mercy city. Like the woman that was caught right-handed in adultery. She was left in the mercy city. Mercy wrote her life. Will you please just leave us if you want to go on your knees. If you want to go on your belly. If you realize you're supposed to be out, gone and dead. You don't know how you're still standing. Sing with us just in a short while. Baba Hadeka Zutaya.
just do me a favor while the worshippers are softly singing you go before the throne of grace and tell him I'm a mess and you know how you navigated me I have backslided and failed you but I wonder why you kept me but thank you for your grace and mercy thank you for saving me from my own sins so the worshippers as you speak to God as God leads you do it again in the worshippers oh my God you are allowed to open up your mouth if you want to shout you can shout if you want to cry out loud you can cry out loud you are before the mercy city we are in the mountains of the angels of God we are in the mountain of the meetings with God we are in the mountain Horeb the mountain of the occurrences the mountain of the experiences the mountain of receiving Jehovah I feel God everywhere rewrite my life Lord rewrite my name rewrite me rewrite my name shabada bada dabaya quiet for a moment Kedaba said do you hear the, the meeting of the saints we are meeting the heavenly church I don't know how I made it but I was supposed to be wiped off and wiped out but I came out I don't know how and why you spread my, my soul and my heart but my soul blesses the Lord and I will bless the Lord at all times and, and my praise shall continually be in my tongue then my lips will confess and profess declare and proclaim his goodness and greatness Lord please don't take away your spirit from me and and restore it me a cleaner that i may that i may worship you all i must say when i call upon your name i pray that you show forth and reveal yourself and let everything that has bread bless the name of jehovah let everything that has bread bless the name of god let the king of glory come in and who is this king of glory through and through through with all I've learned to depend on you I've learned to trust in you Jesus I've learned to give you my all in all my whole Elahasidia through it all I depend on you through the scars and the battles of my life through the wounds and the hurt of life I have learned to trust upon you for your word declares curse is the man who trusts upon people but blessed is the man who depends and trusts on God then whose trust is in God then I will lift up my eyes to the hills where cometh from my head and my help cometh from the Lord the one which made the heavens and the earth he said he will not suffer my food my food to be moved he will he will preserve my soul even forevermore my help cometh from the Lord the maker of the universe Father, we bless your name. You shall preserve our soul. Even forevermore. As I hand over the microphone to my dear brother, 
Is there anybody remaining? We sing, Lord, I have fallen. Will you rewrite my name? Will you restore my life? Will you remake me? Will you mold me in your grace? If you say, I desire this prayer, you can march majestically to the altar and show yourself before the altar of grace. You are not caught yet. And you don't want to be caught. You want to throw yourself in the mercy city. I want to open this opportunity. I know Doc was going to also say, if you have never given your life to Jesus, and you want the experience of being born again, from all that we have been preaching to you are the benefits of the born again. You say, Savior, please don't pass me by. Don't stay where you are. Just come forth to the altar. We are praying with you right now. We are giving you this opportunity. Reconcile with God. In Jesus' name. And also those who are listening by the way of radio. On highway radio. Say the very same thing. Say God. I'm coming to you. Just as I am. You saw me. You spoke to me. You changed my life. I'm throwing myself at your feet. The feet of mercy. Where my life will be transformed. And I believe it will never be the same again. Mercy will give me strength to move forward not to move backwards I will go where you want me to go I will be where you want me to be through mercy and I believe today it's the day of encounter your life will never be the same again you say this prayer you say Lord Jesus I give my life to you I come like a prodigal son I return to you. I belong to you alone. I'm sorry about my sins. I'm a sinner to you. I've sinned against you. I've sinned against the heavens. Forgive me and wash me. Deliver me and make me whole. Wash me by your blood. Set me free. I'm willing to live your life. I'm leaving my life behind. I'm coming to your life. Life. As you lead me, as you are mercy and merciful in my life, I will follow you wherever you lead me. In Jesus' name, I thank you for accepting me. Thank you for delivering me. In the name of Jesus, I am made whole by your mercies. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's worship God a minute. Let's worship Him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Chief. Worship Him. Just worship. Clap your hands. To him. You can do better than that. Just worship. Our life will never be the same again. I will ask Pastor Mtsemi to come and pray for us. Yes, Pastor Ria basan dari abose ke bi hendere be si hendere be haya si abonga kulu kulu etu si abonga baba etu si abonga kulu kulu etu si abonga baba etu si abonga kulu kulu etu miele zo kulu menga we kiswense etu wa kulu makoswa kente zana se kiswense etu si abonga kulu kulu etu ngwe lutu na matiba ma 
Bogus Pumeli, Sosia Bonga Kunkulu at Tongwell, Utuna Matabama, Tenga to Kunkulu at Tongwell, Ogus Nigas, it and Belish, Sosia Bonga Kunkulu at Tongwell, Utuna Matabama, Tenga to Kunkulu at Tongwell, Ogus Nob, Kunkulu at Tonamaya, Sipumele Kunkulu at Tongwell, Winkas Mulo Baba Tongwell, Ayam Buluayo, Mishang and Misha, Kunkulu at Tongwell, Sia Bonga Baba Tonamaya, in a mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Can I say this? Whilst you were praying, I saw the heavens open up. And I heard the voice of the Lord. He said, I will restore everything that the enemy has taken from you. And he's saying, I am going to make you to be the light. You think I've left you. It seems as if I've left you. I've never left you. You are going to see your power. From today, you are going to move with my glory my presence will be upon you you are going to experience my tangible hand upon your life and you are going to see things happen and you are going to be comforted you will know that what you have sown in my kingdom it was not a loss it was not in vain today is your day to elevate you today is the day where I am blessing you where I am reviving yes my hand is upon you my hand is upon you my glory is upon you my glory is upon you you will be restored with everything I am raising you higher to a level where we have never been you are going to see things that you have never seen I am shaping you I am making you I am elevating you you are not cursed when I will you are not cursed. When I will see you, you are blessed. You are my blessing. You will reach everyone that I want you to reach. You will save everyone that I want you to save. You will heal and deliver everyone that I want you to do. From today, your life will never be this. I'm filling you with my spirit. I'm anointing with my anointing. People will follow you. They will call you and say, where are you? We've been looking for you. We have seen you in our dreams. We remember you in our hearts. It's your time. It's your season, my son. You are not crippled. You can walk. Rise up and walk. Run! It is your time. It is your season. It is your time. I repeat, it is your season. Arise! Take your power. You will never be defeated. You have never been defeated. It doesn't mean you are a failure. What has been taken from you? I allowed it to happen so that I can have this moment with you. You are blessed, my son. Shepherd my flock. You are a shepherd. That's your name. Shepherd them. You think that name came to you in vain? It is yours. You will live up to it. You will shepherd many. They will see hope in you. They will see light in you. The lights that have 
given to you. The blessing that I've released is going to shine on from now on. Arise and shine for your light has come. From now on, let's walk under open heaven. Mercy has made us qualify. Tell your neighbor, Mercy rewrote my life. Tell the other one also. Praise the Lord. Those who are watching the way of Facebook and YouTube, we are saying to you, we love you. May the good Lord bless you. May his hand be upon you. Mercy have taken place to shape you, to uplift you. And also remember there is Isaac. Isaac. No Isaac that is being brought. We as we culture it. It's our culture. We have entered into another era. Whereby we have entered into another world. I've always said in Mount Zion that our year will start at on September. As we have started it already. 2021. Our 2021. It's a year of a new era. And you are going to experience things that we've been declaring for almost more than five years. The season of taking over. The season of abundance. The season of Sabbath. Rest. The season of rest. The season of uh, Sabbath. Sabbath. And uh, you remember all those seasons. Oh, yeah. The golden, golden age. age. We are going to experience it. From now on. Have you ever seen two preachers preaching one message? That means it's a new era. That means it's a new era. And because we have we have ascended to another dimension. And we are not going back. And the enemy is angry. We don't care about him. And he is always angry. But we are moving forward. We are going to build. From this year. Lo, 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 we new era, 2021. This Ukale. of new era, as we have entered October, we are going to build buildings. So this is Puma, this is in your when we come out from here, we'll be going to our own house of worship. And Moba. Because we need to build, as you are about to build, the money is required. Do you know what's going to take place now? Do you know what's going to happen? Because there is a need of building. I, as a head of this church, Mount Zion Carnation, I'm saying we're about to build. In the era of David, there was no temple that was built. But in the era of Solomon, the palace was built. And the temple as well was built. We're going to build now. If we're about to build, the money is needed. What does that mean? It means you. You have a business that could be millions. What does that mean? You're going to get a promotion from where? That means your salary it's gonna 
increased. It's like I'm speaking to the people who are on Facebook. Because there is a need of building. You will be blessed. Because there is a need for us to build, Not to rent anymore. We require our land now. That means you. Your, your, your territory is going to be expanded. In other words, the way of thinking, if you were calculating thousands of now you're going to count the millions. I don't know whether you it's hear me. Just in the next song. It's the era if that we're going to I want to tell you Mount Zion Kanaishi. Just extend your territory. Extend yourself physical. Just say to yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Say, I'm growing bigger. It's in your cooler. I'm growing better. I'm growing broader. And in your cooler. Yes, Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm growing bigger. I'm growing better. I'm growing broader. I'm growing broader. Are you with me? We are on another level. Please, don't say I'm too old. I can't see that. Don't say that. Can't say those ways. Say I'm the one. The grace have found me. Grace have found me and rewrote me. Congratulations. Congratulations. I want you to start in a better way. If you didn't do well, give. Support the kingdom of God. Because the things that are going to take place now, you have seen what the coronavirus have done. We are saying that the eye has been seen. We've never seen what the coronavirus have done. Let me ask you, what's going to happen now? The, cor the coronavirus age have passed on. Now we are on another age. It's of abundance. If do you remember that it has still and killed and destroyed that's what it was doing it was stealing, killing and destroying you, 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 the one that comes after it the time this is it, it says that there will be an overflow an overflow there will be a harvest it's time for the brethren to be blessed. As I was declaring on Pastor I was seeing it taking place to brethren. But God said, I must speak to you specially because He knows what does this word is going to do in His heart. Say it's me that God has blessed no cooler, bigger. the one who's growing no bigger better. and better no cooler, and also broader. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Please stop pointing at people. This thing is about you. It's about who? It's about who? God didn't permit it. Praise the Lord.
Now I'm asking myself if the good things are taking place in our lives how it's gonna be if I'm being blessed above this how it's gonna be how it's gonna be my mind can't phantom it that says that the world is going to be helped easily. Do you hear what I'm saying? Can you please, as the member of Mount Zion Carnation, believe in this? This thing exists. It have uh, been here for 20 years. Up until now, uh, I, I, I can't count the storm that we have faced. The enemy didn't want us to finish this 20 years. I don't know from this 20 years moving forward how it's going to be. I was looking at car radio. It's going to partner Now it's going to partner with other world on the earth. From Central America. We will have programs from Central Akamuga America. From Europe, United Kingdom. From Europe and United Kingdom. Germany. German. I mean, North and Southern India. North and Southern India. We are touching the world. I, um, that's why the devil was uh, telling and we tossing. Are going to be connected. He knew that we'll be connected. Some we will have a meeting with them tomorrow and complete some things. Oh, yeah. This thing is not small. When you look at this church at Inanda, in the middle of the squatter camps, 
of the squatter camps. All over. Six oh four, six oh four, and the six oh four. I'm joking. So, we are on another level. We are communicating with the world. No wonder the enemy wanted to destroy us. But we won. Because So, those with Isaac 